Hi, my name's Taylor and this is my Volvo. Rolled up, riding down the boulevard clean. Young boy following his dreams. I've been making big plays, big plays, big plays. Motherfucker hate it if he try to switch ways. We got liquor in the trunk in the loom. Motherfucker hate it if he try to switch ways. Big plays, big plays. Money keep calling, I just don't know which. So, how long have you had this Volvo? I uh, bought the Volvo about eight months ago. Guy at work was selling it like dirt cheap, so I just thought, why not? How much did you pay for it? He offered me 200 quid, but I actually felt like I was robbing him, so I gave him 300 quid instead, which I don't know why I did it, but I did. So, what have you done to it so far? So, uh, first of all, I put coilies on it, which was the worst job in the world to do because everything was completely rusted on. It took me a day after work her coil over. I ended up cutting the front drop links because they were completely welded on um, and I ran the car without drop links for like a good month or so. When we put the front coil on none of us were paying attention um, and we put the put the wrong one on so we put them the wrong way around and then um, when I came to fit the new drop links I bought I had to completely swap them back over which was just not fun at all. <laughs> no I had some uh, BBS reps and I wanted them on it but this PCD is 4x1 1, 4.3. My BBS was 4x100. So I ordered some wheel adapters from America. They were quite pricey because I had to pay shipping and customs and all that. And then I finally got the BBS on it. It looked alright. Um, but I had a lot of poke because they were 25mm wheel adapters. So because of the poke, it was quite a bit and I thought I'd get rid of it. Over fenders on, bought them off eBay, like 80 quid for the set four. And then after that, they, they're not accustomed to this car, they're, they're nah, literally just... Nah, they're just universal. Adapters. They're just universal, they literally BBS. can go onto every, any car. Yeah. Uh, I only put the back fenders on at first because the BBS were staggered wheels. The back stuck out a lot more than the, the front, so I ended up just putting the back on for a bit because the front didn't fit right because the, uh, the front arches are a bit bigger. So uh, after I put the back arches on, I kind of got bored of the BBS, wanted something new. I was down the skate park, I looked online, just there and then, thought I'm going to buy some new wheels. And uh, I went on country, found these rotors, loved them, they were only 200 quid. So I went, uh, it was only like a 25 minute drive as well, so I went straight there with 300 quid, uh, 200 quid. He had a pretty cool MX-5 drift car as well, they used to be on that, so got some old MX-5 drift wheels. They were in white, got pictures of that too, but I didn't like the white, didn't really go with it green, so I took them in the garden, sprayed them black. When I put the rotors on, um, they're a lot wider than the BBS were, I think the BBS was 7J, these are actually 8J, um, with 25mm wheel adapters as well, uh, so yeah, the poke was quite insane, uh, I actually measured it, it was like 75mm, so then the front arches definitely needed to go on, because these weren't staggered, uh, well these aren't staggered. So consider you've done all these mods to it, do you consider it still a good daily driver? Or? Yeah, definitely. Um, it's had loads of stuff in it, like it's had a quad in the back. I mean, the one problem I did have was the poke. Because of the poke, um, obviously my arch is catched, so I couldn't lower it as much as I want to. It can go basically on the floor, but the arches are weird, restricting that. Uh, and I can't even cut them because like this model, um, the sill basically just runs right to the arch, so you can't cut 
cut anything because it's just silly. But other than that, it is a very good daily driver. It came with the winter pack when I first uh, when it was first bought. It basically, just comes with like heat seats and all that good stuff. Um, it's got air conditioning, electric sunroof, cruise control. It's great. Have you done anything to the interior, or is that still standard? No, the interior is basically just been completely swapped out for the like sport model. It had the like horrible cloth like green, it was like fading, like a grey colour, it just looked like tacky and disgusting. And then I went online, found this interior, it was the door cards with the walnut trim all over it um, and the full black leather interior for like, it was 75 quid I paid for it all and I got a ship for me as well. So have you had like a, an exhaust put on this or have you done anything to the engine or anything like that? After I got it looking kind of the way I wanted, as best I could. I wanted a full exhaust system, but then obviously I was going to engine swap it, and then I was going to turbo it, and I just thought I'm just going to mess about with the exhaust, and it's going to be a waste of money. So I just ripped my black box off and ran it like that since. Cheap and easy. <laughs> Sounds all right though, so. Now I've had new bits and bobs, like a new temperature sensor, because that went. Um, I had the VVT done, because that's f***ed up. Uh, I had a new pulley, new timing belt, and a new timing kit. It cost me 600 quid for everything, because basically Volvos don't break down, um, but when they do, well, it didn't break down on me, I just wanted to get it sorted. It wasn't a necessity, but yeah, I wanted the VVT working properly, so like, it cost me like 250 quid just for the pulley because uh, they're genuine Volvo parts and you can't really buy them second hand. So obviously you've done quite a bit to it, you've done the exhaust, you've done the wheels, you've done arches, you've done the interior, you've had the VVT sorted. There must be something that you love about this car that absolutely sets it apart from other things. If I'm being 100% honest, I love the landing lights, they're just, they're just sick. Yeah, 100% landing lights, totally. they look sick. Every car should have landing lights. So we're coming to the end of year, the year 2017 now. Obviously it's gonna sit like that, this till after Christmas. What are some of the things that you wanna do like next in the car? What, what yeah. do you wanna do? I really wanted to engine swap it, put a T5 in it. I know they fit. The engine base in Volvo is a massive if you're a Volvo lover. But then I thought, you know, that's gonna be quite hard, pricey. I mean, I ain't got a garage or whatever like that to work. I thought I'd turbo it. And um, as I was, just about to buy stuff and turbo in it. I, uh, I got my tracking done for this and I uh, found some guy. He was selling a V70, which obviously it has a T5 engine. And I thought, yeah, he offered it me for 250 quid. I said, I'll take it straight away. Nothing wrong with it, 11 months MOT. So that's my new project now. Next year, that will be uh, finished and I recommend you stay tuned to uh, see that bad boy. Thanks for watching. This has been my Volvo. Stay tuned for the V70. Like, comment, subscribe. So you say you wanna get away. We don't need a plane. I could be your escape. Take you to a place where there's no time, no. Way.